Does cable management make a difference? I think so. This is a follow-up video to my last video where I talked about a insanely cheap cable management kit that I got off of Amazon. And today, I just wanted to do a brief follow-up and show you what I've done with the items that came in that kit. So, here is my rig all cabled up. And as you can see, it looks a lot nicer than what the video I showed last week. The cabling is much clearer. It's, things are not loose and just flopping around, which is good. As you can see here, I've got my dew strap here all tied in nicely. And there we go for the power. And that's the power coming in. Here's the dew strap going to here, and that's all cabled in nicely. And then I've got my flat panel here, and you can see the cables there are all nicely done up. So I used a lot of the zip ties, which one commenter said he just zip tied everything, and that's fine. But what I found incredibly helpful were these clips. And these clips came in the kit. And not only these clips, but also this cable wrapping here because what this does is it basically allows you to treat multiple cables as if it's one and it makes it much easier to manage them and to deal with them as you can see here for my mount itself I have both my USB and my power wrapped up as one cable so it's much easier instead of two dangling cables I now just have the one and my power cables coming up power cables for both my mount and for my camera I guess I gotta go up here yeah power box right up there all this is managed through one wrap and again I got another one of those clips right here and what these clips do I'm finding is that they pretty much keep the cables so that they um, are manageable. And this one here has the five cable split and I've got the individual cables coming in here so that there's freedom of movement but along with the freedom of movement they're also not moving around a whole lot. And I find that not only does it look nicer and much more easy to deal with, but I also find that my movement is not restricted. I need to balance this thing. But my movement is not restricted, as you can see here. So you got plenty of movement there, cable movement. Wrap it around this way. Now there was one snag right there. Okay, so plenty of movement right there. So here's one potential issue right there that I'm going to have to figure out how to resolve that. And that very well may end up being something that I put right here. Probably a small little cable tag there. Would that work? I think it would work. Okay. So what in my kit can I use for that? As you can see, here's my little kit. And what can I use? I could probably use one of these little guys right there at the end. So let me go ahead. stick this guy on. I don't want to interfere right there so I'm going to put it like right there. I don't want to interfere so I'm going to put it like right there. And then I've got this cable right there. And it's just going to click right there. There we go. Alright. And that way I can unclick it. And I don't have to worry 
go. Now let's try that again and see if we still get still get the snag on the rotator here. And nope. No snagging there on the rotator. Problem solved. And that's what I like about kits like this is you're able to figure out what snags and what doesn't. And then when you find just something that does snag, you're able to just get that piece and put it on. And there we go. Does. I think it's going to help me in terms of future potential cable snags. I think it's going to help me when late at night in the past things would get tangled up, things would get caught on pieces of my mount or on other pieces of gear. And now I think I pretty much have eliminated the possibility of any kind of cable snags. So if you found this at all helpful, there's other videos that you can watch here of my astrophotography journey. And until next time, clear skies and happy guiding.